Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Ghost Revenant. Make sure you click the notifications, that way you can see videos as soon as I post them. Without further ado, let's get started. What I want to talk about today are the five things that I think Call of Duty 2017, aka World War II, needs to succeed. Now, keep in mind, this is my opinion, and here we go. Number one, map design. We need less flank routes. We do. With too many flank routes comes clutter, comes chaos. I understand it's a chaotic game, but in my opinion, we need less flank routes. We all want a hassle-free experience. Map flow in Infinite Warfare is crazy because of this. The maps in IW, are, they're really not killstreak friendly at all. We all know that. We need less buildings with less windows. And God, please don't make it like Ghost was with all the windows, people sitting in thermal size. We need, you know, like three lane maps to keep it simple. Yeah, have a flank route here and there, you know, but just reduce them. This has too many flank routes and it gives people the opportunity, to, you know, to just get bombarded. I understand it's a first person shooter, but I still think we need to, to have less flank routes. Number two, connection. We need dedicated servers. It, it's it is what it is. It's 2017. Come on, Sledgehammer, let's do it. We need y'all need to optimize the connection in this game. It's not it's you know it needs a better tick rates. It needs better refresh rates. My my connection is great at home. I have very little jitter, no packet loss, but yet in Infinite Warfare, I lose a lot of gun battles due to connection with the game. Uh, you know, I understand. You know, it's an online experience. You're you're gonna suffer. Online gaming is not perfect, but damn. Advanced Warfare had horrible hit detection. Now Black Ops 3 had okay hit detection, but its tick rate was phenomenal. Call, uh, Call of Duty Ghost had excellent hit detection. How could Ghost, which was made like what four years ago, have great hit detection, but yet here we are in 2017 and it's so crappy? You know, Black Ops 3, the tick rates were good. Hardcore is actually playable. You had a chance to win a gunfight. This, you better fire first, or you're gonna lose. I, I just, I don't get it. You know, the connection alone, in my opinion, can make the game so much more enjoyable. That's that's my opinion. But number three, effective score streaks. Score streaks that actually work. Black Ops 3 is a prime example of great score streaks. 90% you know, of the time when I played and I would get the Wraith, the Raps, the Talon, the Mothership, etc. Usually they went in and actually got kills. Infinite Warfare? Huh. <laughs> It has terrible, ineffective score streaks. You know, whenever you get your score streaks, you work hard. You work hard to get them. You get the necessary kills. You get the necessary points. But yet, you don't you don't get many kills off of them. I don't understand. The only ones that are really I think that are effective are the RC8 and the um, Apex. Now, as far as the Vulture, that thing is trash. It always wants to kill people after the fact. But you know. Just take, keep that in mind, Sledgehammer. You know, make your score streaks effective. Number four, weapons. We all know about weapons. You want effective weapons. You don't want weapons that, you know, we all want the ones that kill. Infinite Warfare is an AR dominant game. The SMGs are weak, in my opinion. LMGs are okay. Shotguns, uh, they're the worst of any Call of Duty I've ever experienced with the hit marker. Snipers also. They get a ton of hit markers. I, I played Gun Game recently, and it was just, it was, it's unacceptable to get a hit marker with a sniper or a shotgun point blank. You, you, you know, you want good time to kill, but you also want to have a, a chance to return fire to potentially win a gunfight. In Infinite Warfare, you better win that gunfight the first time, or, you know, because, like, your, uh, what do you call that? Time to recover is just, it's, it's bad in this game. You don't, you don't stand a chance, you know what I mean? So, but, um, and like I was saying back on weapons, uh, I hope World War II does not have weapon variants, like, kind of like, um, Black Ops 3 did, you know, you just, you, you're able to put attachments to make it great, or, you know, keep it as is. I think it gives a person an unfair advantage that doesn't own a particular weapon. An example of this would be, like, the HBRA 3 Insanity, or the ASM1 Speakeasy, back from advanced warfare uh you know if your opponent would have good aim with the uh insanity you didn't stand a chance when i acquired the insanity i used that thing a lot and let me tell you something it changed my game i dominated most lobbies that i was in and you know and like the speakeasy too you couldn't battle that thing you know it's 
they just need I think they need to do away with variants and just uh and keep it simple and then lastly is skill based matchmaking I understand that Call of Duty tries to you know balance teams but we all like getting new blobbies who doesn't like new blobbies that's what we look for that's what we hope for so we can dominate we can get a bunch of kills no one likes facing sweaties all the time I sure as hell don't so please sledgehammer if you're listening match people by geographical location let's not do this by stats okay please I'm begging you and by the way the background uh, gameplay I'm using the karma 45 glutton so anyways guys make sure if you enjoy the video let me know in the comment section what you think you know Kai 2017 needs to succeed and uh, make sure you drop a like on the video if you're new to the channel please subscribe and as always I appreciate the support hope to see you again I'm out peace and chicken grease